before we move forward, I just wanted, wanted to make a video kind of reviewing what we just did about creating subcomponents. So what we did in the previous video is we created main activity and we added it as a secondary subcomponent. So we have auth component now and we have main component, um, which is auth activity and main activity basically. And they all have kind of their separate modules. Although in main, in the second component, the main component, we don't have any other modules right now. So let's just take a look and quickly review that. So I have base activity, right? I created that and I extended main activity by base activity. And then I added um, kind of main activity as a subcomponent by using the at contributes Android injector annotation, just like we did with auth, at, auth activity. And what that does behind the scenes is it creates a subcomponent named uh, main activity subcomponent. And if we take a look at the code generator, so if I open up the code generator section here uh, and I go to, let's see, uh, DI right here, let me just open this, give us a little more room here. We have contribute auth activity and contribute main activity. So I'm gonna open up both of these and we can take a look. So we took, we, we analyzed the, this class earlier in the course when I talked about subcomponents the first time. I showed you that I was able to uh, basically remove this. I could just literally copy this, this generated code, and I could add it to the activity builders module. And I could, I could comment that out and everything would work exactly the same. So basically uh, this contributes Android injector is generating this code. And while, when it generates this code, it actually creates a subcomponent. That subcomponent is named auth activity subcomponent. Now I know the naming might throw you off a little here because if we look at the diagram, I actually call it auth component, but this is one and the same. Auth component is auth activity subcomponent. I just named it differently in the diagram. So by using the at contributes Android injector, we can effectively create a subcomponent and then we can specify modules for that subcomponent, which will only be accessible in that subcomponent. So you're, you're creating dependencies basically that can only be accessed inside that subcomponent. And later when we get into scoping, um, that's, uh, that's going to be another tool that we can use to kind of scope dependencies for certain, certain parts of the app. So, uh, so this is the same thing we did with main activity. Once again, we use the add contributes Android injector. And if we take a look at the code generator, once again, we have a subcomponent. This subcomponent is named main activity subcomponent. And once again, I just want to say, don't let the naming throw you off. In the diagram, I called it main component, but this is actually named main activity subcomponent in reality. And that's, uh, that's kind of the gist of it. That's, I just wanted to review kind of how the ad contributes Android injector works. Um, basically, if you ever want to create a subcomponent, use the ad contributes Android injector, and then you can specify modules. So the dependencies, certain dependencies will only exist within that subcomponent. And uh, later when we, when we, when we uh, progress in the course, I'm going to show you the differences of putting some dependencies in auth component and then putting some dependencies in main component. And I'll show you that they can't be accessed from uh, different subcomponents. So the dependencies in auth component will only be accessible in auth component and the dependencies in main component will only be accessible in main component. But the thing that these two components have in common is they'll both be able to access dependencies that exist in the app component. So it's kind of like a, like a, like a, I don't know, a triangle. If you could imagine an imaginary line drawn from app component down to, to auth component, they are connected and uh, app component is connected to main component, but these two aren't connected. They're completely independent. They cannot communicate. They can't use each other's dependencies. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of how it works. So that's it. I just wanted to review that with you. And now in the next video, I'm going to uh, work on the toolbar. So this is the finished version of the app. If I was to log in, notice we have this toolbar icon up here. I can click that and click log out and uh, it will log out the user. So that's what I'm gonna work on in the next video.